That's why I thought. Just up in front of the bus on the right is the other little water holding basin and a spillway up there against the road. Against the mountain, you can't see it, but there's two back here. That's why they named this restaurant here on the right the Spillway House. I heard they have a great damn cheeseburger. Here's the years that the dam was completed from 1931 to 1935. There on the right, and they were they finished the dam one year ahead of schedule. These two angels you see on the right were dedicated to the Hoover Dam in honor of the 96 workers that lost their lives during construction. If you look at their feet, you'll notice that they're shiny. People rub their feet for good luck. All the hopefuls heading into Las Vegas. And last but most definitely not least, right here on the right-hand side mounted to this large boulder is what a high scaler looked like. Those were the men that drilled the holes and put the dynamite into the rock right there. If you look at his hat, the hard hat was a byproduct of the Hoover Dam where it originated. They would dip their hats into tar until it got nice and hard so they wouldn't get killed by falling rocks. Now the high scaler was the highest paid worker back here during construction. It was the most dangerous job. But remember, when they built the Hoover Dam, it was during the Great Depression. So if you were fortunate enough to have a job in the first place, you were sitting pretty. You had uh, clothes for your family and food and shelter. So. Thank you, join Bob. Just above your head, of course, is the bridge. Since 2010, when it was constructed, unfortunately, we've had nine jumpers so far. And no bungee cord. Here's your last look at the Hoover Dam for now. Later on this evening, I'm going to get your attention when we're crossing over the bridge. It's, it's a great picture at night when it's all lit up. Here's a, here's a close-up also of the pulley system. Uh, it's still functioning, by the way. They fire it up every now and then, and it's working just fine. Now I know this power plant on the right is not the prettiest thing to have back here in the mountains, but remember that a lot of the electricity generated back here is distributed distributed between California, Arizona, Nevada, and Utah. 